We are in Barcelona, um, it's 10th of July, and this is the sixth, sixth anniversary of a row. Okay, thank you. So, um, this is my first time at El Row, and uh, I just went backstage and I saw all kind of inflatables. What do you got more in storage for today? Uh, we have got a lot in the storage. The thing is that we try to improve our shows mm -hmm. uh, every time every time we do a party yeah. and especially now because it's the sixth anniversary. Yeah. So we are Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> we have been putting a lot of big efforts with all my team to, to create something really special today. So you can expect from a lot of confetti to theater companies, actors, like inflatables, toys, like okay. and a lot of people obviously. Okay. Curious. Um, so, can you tell me a little bit uh, uh, of how um, Elro uh, was born? History, like we started Elro. Like we have been in the industry for more than 100 years. Mm -hmm. I am the sixth generations in, in the industry. And when we started with Elro, we wanted to, to create something different and special. And it was six years ago. Uh, now. Uh, and it was me and my friends sitting out, sit, sitting around a table yeah. and talking about crazy ideas. My father uh, found this venue yeah. and we thought it was amazing and from the beginning we didn't want to we didn't want to do like an after party venue. We wanted yeah. to create something special where people uh, wanted to come in the morning, you know, wake up, so uh, come fresh, full of energy to party and this is how we started. Like, from little by little, adding uh, crazy stuff to, to the party. Okay. And can you, can you tell me a little bit of the Elro family, the resident DJs, and uh, which kind of music, if you go to Elro, what can what can people expect? Okay, I will I will pass that to Victor because he's the he's the row booker director, so okay. I think it's better if he. Okay, it's your turn. <laughs> um, sorry, what was the question again? Um, <laughs> if people don't know what if people don't know what Elro is. Um, what can they expect? What kind of music? Uh, can you tell a little bit of the uh, Elro family, the rest of the DJs? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> if you've never been to Elro, you need to come with a like with an open mind that you're gonna have fun. Obviously, as Juan says, we use a lot of inflatables, uh, confetti, theater companies, actors, performers. So it's a very it's a very inclusive experience. There's always something happening around you. And music-wise. We try to uh, use the same ethos as we do to the public. The music has to be fun. Whether it's a house or techno, it needs to be uplifting, it needs to be fun. We like it to have vocals. And as you can see, our booking, you know, our bookings are quite varied. We have techno DJs playing in the main room. We have house DJs playing here. We have uh, all the DJs from Chicago playing in the Kerr Beach. So it's, I think it's quite varied and you can move around from different rooms and, yeah. and have a different vibe of each room. Okay. And so is there a main reason why uh, your resident DJs are all locals? Uh, no, the, the reason why is because we started the row as, as a friend thing mm -hmm. with my best friends. Yeah. So actually, four of them are part of my family. You know, like we were like we have been friends since I was 16 when they when yeah. they used to party at Florida 135, and since then we have been together. Obviously now because the brand got bigger, I had to bring uh, more uh, residents in, yeah. and for me it's important to be in Barcelona because. Even 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 though Ro is an international brand, we are still in Barcelona. Yeah. We have we do a lot of meetings. You know, like it's like I think the connection is always really important. So if you're looking back six years, that's quite a lot of time. Yeah. So you got a secret formula for that? Not really. For for me, it's, it's really short. You know, like okay, yeah. after 100 years yeah. in the industry, it's not that long. But I don't know. Like we have been just like having fun, creating new themes every year. We try to. To bring three, four new different themes to the uh, to the shows, yeah. we take out the old ones, so adding new things. So I think that's why we keep the brand fresh, yeah. and that's why we are always like full of energy creating stuff. You know, like yeah. if you you will see it today, like people are gonna go just crazy. Yeah. So um, we're uh, toast, and we are also here for Michelin because yeah. you guys are going to Michelin. You got your own own stage. Yeah. Um, can you tell me a little bit of what you're gonna bring to Amsterdam? Yeah. Uh, first of oh, all, it's not Amsterdam. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you because for us it's like it's one of the highlights of, of the summer. I think Mr. Land is like worldwide worldwide known festival, and I think it's gonna be a crazy crazy yeah. experience. Uh, we have been touring with like four, five, six different shows, and it's the first time we we are taking the, the most famous show we have to a festival, uh, which is uh, Feria de Abril. It's the Spanish theme that this comes from the south, yeah. and it's our craziest theme. So we wanted to, for Mystery Land, obviously, because it's so important, yeah. even though it's like a big effort for everyone yeah. to put everything like together so far away from home, 
and we we thought it was going to be it was going to be this one, and it's, I think like people are gonna go crazy. Yeah. So is it your first time at uh, Mystery Land? Yeah, sure. It's our first time, and we are a little bit nervous. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And we are all my team is really all my team is really really excited and I think we're gonna put together uh, something really amazing so so people cannot uh, yeah. cannot forget. So do you got any tips for the people who are going to Michelin? Do they prepare or no? They need to get ready to have fun. Okay. You know, like they have to be open-minded. Yeah. That's really really important for a row. And they just, like we we will only ask from them energy and good vibe. That's it. You know, like if you put that with like all our things that we are offering to the people. Mm -hmm. It is, I think it's gonna be like a bomb. So if I ask you what's Elro and you can only use three words, uh, take your time. <laughs> I would say it's crazy, yeah. fun, and... Espera, one second. How is the word that was interaction? Interaction. Okay. Um, a row is uh, crazy, yeah. fun, and I would say interactive. That's the most important part, you yeah. know, like we are creating everything around the people and people are the party yeah. so you know like we don't want to do only just like crazy decoration or yeah. only crazy toys and inflatables yeah. we are trying to bring together people a lot together. of different stuff yeah. so people can interact with us like we only we always we only think about the customer yeah. so if they are open-minded and they are ready to party like i, I promise it's gonna be like something really really special and you're are you yourself going to uh, Michelin's also? Yeah, yeah, it's the first. It's the first time. I think it's like half of the team going there. Mm -hmm. It's like okay, so. I will see you, know, you there. Uh, <laughs> Fifteen of us, like all the family, my sister, yeah. like not my not my not my parents, mm -hmm. but I think the rest of the family. Are, it's the first time we are take a plane and, and go there because for us it's really really important. Yeah. So we wanna be there partying with all the Mr. Land crowd as well. Okay. So uh, if it's done, you're gonna stay a little bit longer in in the Netherlands, or you're going straight? No, I am. We are like. Yeah, you're very busy. Yeah, this time, uh, this summer is like it's crazy for the brand. We are really happy, but obviously we don't have time to enjoy ourselves. Yeah. We are going from one festival to one club, from one club to Ibiza, from Ibiza to Barcelona. So you know, like it's gonna be really busy. Unfortunately, we don't have time to spend in in Amsterdam, which is my favorite city yeah. in Europe. But maybe, maybe in the future I will have some. I will find some time. So you've been uh, quite a lot of time in Amsterdam. Um, yeah. What's your favorite thing there? Amsterdam. Yeah, to do. Uh, I, I like the crowd. I think no, Victor. What do you What would you say about? Yeah, I think the crowd in Amsterdam is the crowd in Amsterdam is really good. Like at least when we've done our events in other in other venues, crowd is goes really up for it. Really, really good energy. Really good energy. Really good vibes. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's I think the brand can it's connect with, the, with with Dutch people really, really easily. At the beginning, I wasn't sure, but after doing like maybe six, seven shows yeah. between Holland and Belgium, I think we are ready to to take the brand to, to the next step. step. Yeah. yeah.